Okay, I'm going to make a short video um, just going through using Google SketchUp and I'll show you what I plan on making. Uh, this is uh, the um, this little uh, container which has been put together to uh, house a crossover connection uh, from a DB9 connector male on this side, female on this side. Basically pins 5 are going straight through uh, pin 3 on one side is crossing over to pin 2 on the other side and pin 2 on one side crossing over to pin 3 uh, and it's used um, for the RS-232 cable connected to our PIC chip microcontrollers um, now basically as you can see this initial design is um, the, the, spec the dimensions are not quite right so I want to tighten that up a little bit um, and that's actually how it came off our 3D modeling machine, our Dimension Elite 3D modeler. Um, so basically, I'm going to use Google SketchUp, which really is the simplest way to create a 3D object. And it has a Ruby script uh, also installed, uh, which I think I've done an earlier video about, which allows you to convert the DXF file to an STL file. The STL format is uh, what you need to create the 3D model on the 3D. 3D modeler. So I'll just go start using SketchUp. Okay. I'll do that later. So I've actually sketched out the dimensions on my little notepad which you can't see. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. We'll just change the orientation a bit here. Zoom out. It's not quite. Yeah, I think I might be. I'm not sure what scale I'm on here. All right. So if I just draw a line here and I put in a number okay that's good 20 now I think that's 20 millimeters and on this side it's going to be 50 and then go that way and the zooming is a bit out here so I'll just um, but I'll just keep going 20 enter and going back to that start point there. Now I'll just see if I can zoom in and pan. The beauty about Google SketchUp is such a simple program, very very simple compared to Autodesk Convert or um, another program which I can't think of right now. Okay, I've just pressed that button there, it's zoomed into the whole thing. Zoom back a bit. Um, so now I want to project this up a bit. Uh, actually, I won't do that. What I'll do is I'll do the line drawing again. So clicking on there. Now, if I go this way, right, you can see that variable length there. It's it's following the axis. I press how high I want, which is uh, 10 millimeters, and enter, and it's done that. I come back to this way. So you can't see what I'm doing, but I'm actually typing on the keyboard the length. Right. Actually, I want to go this way, and it'll be 50. Enter, and back down to there. So I'm gradually building up this object. I'm going to do the same on this side here. Uh, 10, and that way. And you can see how the color changes as it lines up to an axis. So on this axis is red, that one is blue and that one is green and if you go anywhere between that it's not aligned to an axis which is quite convenient 50 and then down to that point there uh, now I want to extrude out these sides a bit so I'll do that just uh, escape and I'll press the extrude button select that side and I want um, a 3 millimeter thickness I'll just see if that works if I do 3 and enter 
yeah so yeah so you can just um, and I'll just rotate this view around this side so I can extrude this wall so if I press the extrude escape from there extrude button which is on there go that way and then I press 3 enter and it does it for me which is really really nice same thing here I want to extrude out this one so again uh, es escape from that extrude this side and three so I've got a nice little box there now back to rotate now it's actually dropped down that and I don't want that to be hollow I want that to fill out so I'll just see if I can um, fix that 50 all right so it's let's try and get this right okay finally I got it um, now the other item I need of course is my uh, lid so which I'll do just wondering okay just escape from there so I need a box lid as well so we'll do that we'll just go over here with line again and um, oh, escape okay so what I'll do is I'll save this file as the base and we'll just navigate around to my folder um, for base for Okay, and then what I'll do next thing is to tools export DXF yeah, select all units millimeters and then select STL okay and go that'll be uh, that's right, it's got STL in there, so save. Now what I'll do is just a new one. And we're going to do the top now. So, let's draw a line. And that's going to be 20 long. Oh, sorry, 20 wide. Twenty enter. Oh. Okay. We'll just escape from there and just zoom in a bit. Try again. Okay, I seem to have gone off the screen here. So I'm hoping that's 20. Go that way, and that's going to be 50. Uh, 
and just get rid of this little help page here. So red axis 20 again and then back to here. That's good. Now up will be three millimeters. Oop. Let's try that again. All right. Three millimeters, and this way, twenty again, and then back down there. I'll just uh, rotate that orientation, make sure that it looks good. Yep, that's looking pretty good. And now we'll uh, extrude that. So actually, I could have done this a bit differently, but that's all right. If I brought uh, fifty millimeters, now actually. Yeah, that should be good. So that's going to be my top. So if I'll save as uh, top of okay, save, and now I'm going to export that. So I go to tools, export. Yep, millimeters. STL, okay, save. Now if I go to my folder, I'm just uh, opening this folder here. Now, so there's my two STL files, I'll just sort it by type. There's my base and my top, so I'm ready to copy those and print those on the machine. By the way, this little red X means that there's been an error in, in uploading from the Google Docs to the online version. Uh, this tick means it's okay and that means it's failed, so I'll have to redo that one. But I'm not too concerned about that at the moment. And that's the end of the video.